Hi everyone, my name is Luz Maria Tovar Suya Contento. I'm going to present the Gender Gap Road, the Path for Women in STEM. So, let's start. First of all, let me introduce the points that I'm going to follow. First, I'm going to talk about the motivation. Then, I'm going to describe the methodology and the results. Finally, I'm going to show the conclusions. So, let's start with the motivation. Historically, male gender has been a majority in science and engineering. Social beliefs in learning are when in girls the interest in incursion into the science and mathematics. On the other hand, stereotypes about STEM are associated with the reduced STEM participation among girls and women. I'm going to describe the methodology. Uh, first, part, first part, the experience of profile collecting in the FICA, Faculty of Engineering in Applied Science of the Universidad Técnica del Norte. We select 69 profiles of females, focusing on five questions. Second part, the attraction campaigns. We engage students from high school to participate in a virtual technology fair of STEM projects, uh, focusing on three questions. Results as follows. Concerning profile collecting, five questions was, question one, which kind of school do you came from? Question two, my college degree in STEM will allow me to Question three, my big concern before starting my university studies was the most surprising thing about my career, question four. Question five, what did I like most about my students at my university? A student selects other options. This had 27.7%. That means students uh, are more interested in that how they change the mind creating new things by themselves. According attraction campaigns, the questions were, first, did the event help you to have a clear idea of the career you want to pursue at the university? Question two, after knowing about careers that exist in STEM, could you decide to study a career in STEM? Finally, question three, would you like to receive more information about STEAM careers? Finally, the conclusions. So, it's important to hold on attraction campaigns where the female roles of women in STEAM careers are highlighted. Students from high schools receive a toll based on academic career, personal and professional experience. Furthermore, this information helps to provide data on the number of women in STEAM so we can have a greater visibility of the Ecuador reality in the field of women engineers of the level of public institution. The survey results give us some insights to propose a study focus on the first and the intermediary level. Thank you.